Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Megan and I'm the witch here round the cauldron. Come and sit for a spell as I talk about witchcraft, polytheism, and the intersection of magic and mundane. Winter solstice is almost here. Early morning fog ushers in the change of season. Liminality is always present in my mind, especially when seasons shift. The cool mist hangs in the air, suspended between time and space, and beckons to those of us who know how to listen. It's changing. The fog whispers between the speckles of water that kiss my face. The wheel is turning again. I sometimes struggle with what to do for the solstice. I know what the solstice is and what it means scientifically. The sun is the furthest away from the North Pole. Yet, it also means that we have reached the longest night of the year, the tipping point between darkness and light. I've never had a solid foundation in the neo-pagan wheel of the year. I know what the Sabbaths are, and I know when they are, but up until recently, I never felt they were right for me. I attribute this to not growing up in the craft, to not growing up with an acknowledgement of the changing of seasons, or closely following that cycle. I also attribute it to growing up in a place that didn't really have all of the seasons. Yes, it got cold during the winter, but the majority of the time was hot. I spent summers sitting in an air-conditioned building because it never got below 90 degrees even in the middle of the night. I struggle with a lot of holidays if I'm being honest. Growing up, our holidays didn't have any real meaning behind them. There was no deeper imagery or religious significance. Christmas was about family and gifts. Easter was about egg hunts and baskets. Thanksgiving was about gratefulness and family. I could go on about these holidays, but I've struggled in my adulthood, especially as a mother, to bring meaning to holidays when it's not what I was taught. I recently spoke to a group of friends about the commodification of witchcraft and paganism. How many of us focus on ourselves and our craft, going within rather than without. I'm not innocent of this, but I also know that sometimes it's okay to be selfish in this way. This is a complicated topic, but it's made me think more about how I view holidays in my religion. I don't think I have my thoughts fully formed there, though. Definitely not enough to talk about it in a video. Just know that I'm thinking about what it means to celebrate holidays in my faith, and how I need to move without rather than within. So this solstice, as I recognize that we are at another tipping point in the year, I will spend my time doing things outside of myself. I want to bring the sacredness into these holidays for me. It seems foreign, but if I never try, it will never happen. While I ponder these thoughts some more and bring more clarity to my own religious practice, I will also be doing some baking. Baking has been a central part of all of my family holiday celebrations. Everyone has always had their shoes to fill and sweets to bring to the party. My mom always makes the pumpkin pie. My nana always makes the fudge. And my grandma, when she was still alive, would make the glass candy. I even remember baking sugar cookies with my nana as a kid back when we all lived together in the same house. We all live far away from each other now, or most of us do, and some of us have passed into the other world. I still like to bake for the holidays, though I'm not much of a baker or a decorator. 
These simple sugar cookies will do just fine. Decorated with yellow frosting and shiny golden sprinkles. It's like bringing the sunshine into my kitchen. You can make these cookies too if you'd like. They're very easy and can be adapted for almost any diet you may have. One cup of unsalted butter, two thirds and a pinch of sugar, two cups and a pinch of flour, a bit of vanilla extract, and sprinkles of your choice. I'll leave a link to the recipe in the description. Before I leave you today, I want to invite you to think about your relationship with your religion, your witchcraft, the land you live on, and the holidays you celebrate. I encourage you to move outside yourself in your thinking when you can, and bring the sacredness back into your celebrations, whatever that means to you. I know this video was short today, and I just had to ponder some things out loud. Since I don't have a set celebration and set way that I do things, I felt like this was the more authentic way to share the spirit of the winter solstice with you. So thank you so, so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.